Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we are back again with a self-imposed challenge coming back from the viewers. So basically what we're gonna do today, uh, he told me that I have to play every uh, single uh, flying car in the game and if they are not enough, uh, well I will, I'll have to put some spells but unfortunately though there are exactly 8 air cards in the game so no spells for me today, I'll have to be playing with a with all flying card deck. And yeah, my opponent uh, misses the balloon first play, which is already a good sign for me because this challenge won't be easy at all. Unfortunately, air cards kinda cost a lot and if you play only things that cost a lot, you eventually run out of money and uh, l let me tell you that much. If someone is well prepared with dealing with air, I'm not gonna be having a good time against this type of deck. So, I'm gonna be right now cycling devils, there's no reason not to. I'm gonna play skeleton keg and set up another attack. Usually the way I would love to be playing is that I'm gonna be getting a good trades uh, on defense and then after that I'll uh, just take advantage of, I mean I'll, I'll take the advantage on defense that my cards fly and my opponent will very luck very not likely to uh, be having a counter to that uh, defense and then I'm gonna just try to counter play with flying robot. Fortunately though he kinda uh, let me get away with a robot first play. Uh, I took the tower and then I had the uh, perfect launch pad for another attacks which is obviously opening the second uh, tower. I would love these devils to go for the for the Viking, but yeah, th that's not gonna be the case. They will be kited and very far, I would say. This Drunker will get some damage, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter because this game seems very over. Yeah, this bomb explodes and the uh, game number one will be actually a success. I expect to lose a lot of males in this video, so yeah, stay tuned to find out uh, whether I will lose some medals or not. Yeah, that's gonna be game number one. Hope to next one. And game number two, here we go against Kirill Champ, who has 500 medals, and I'm gonna actually play a balloon on the opposite side since there's pretty much nothing I can do about this flying robot right now, so I might as well just try to counterplay on the opposite side. Unfortunately, he has devils, which is like the perfect response to what I'm doing. I kinda want uh, my opponents to uh, get overwhelmed. Uh, by my forces, so yeah, he's doing uh, so far a very cool job. He's gonna be playing a Devil Horde here. I would love to counter it with my T-Rex and I will, but also I will lose T-Rex, so that, let's say that was a suboptimal trade, but at the same time I'm okay with that. I probably should have just sucked these pubs because they don't deal any significant damage, but yeah, those are just... Uh, things that you can look uh, after the game and uh, kind of hope to improve on. I'm gonna play a uh, helicopter here and try to follow it up with something else. He's gonna be playing a flying robot instantaneously, which, well, sounds scary and is scary indeed. I'm gonna play Devil Horde to eliminate everything, but he will have bullets, so it looks like Mount will have a very good matchup against me because, well, I'm, I'm gonna be having a Devil Horde against Bullets, that's usually not good. With that being said, I still have a Flying Robot and he does not, so I can attack. Let's do this. And hopefully take the tower. Also, he has Devil Horde, so that's gonna be a very tricky office. And he has Gunner. Very interesting to see that. It looks like he's playing a very deliberate deck, maybe even trying to snipe me gonna see that okay 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 I'm not a fan of that I'm not a fan of that this gunner definitely should have locked onto the uh, onto the flying robot why did it target my precious T-Rex that's gonna be a very hard hold for me right now because he's gonna be playing pretty much balloon and I cannot do anything about that so I'm gonna just play flying robot he's not give, even gonna take the chances he wastes his bullets that's huge, that's definitely huge. I'm gonna play my Devil Horde and 
take the absolute crap of the advantage out of this. He's gonna be, yeah, this helicopter this time locks onto uh, the flying robot. That was the effect I was trying to achieve. Actually, my T-Rex gets a splash, which is gonna be very huge. I'm gonna play balloon right now. So right now I have just a prime position to attack. That's absolutely perfect. And the T-Rex splashes devils and yeah, that's gonna be GG. I don't see other, other result. Oh my God, he kinda messed this up. He messed his defense in a huge way, so yeah. I was afraid that we're gonna lose this game number two, but fortunately for us, our opponent made even bigger mistakes than we did in the first in the first second. So yeah, that's gonna be the GG well played. Unfortunate for K Kirill Cham because it looked like it was his matchup, not mine. I kinda won by chance and I'm gonna absolutely take this chance. Let's jump to the game number three, if I recall correctly. And it looks like we're gonna also get him in the game number three, so we're gonna see. He starts with a flying robot and I'm absolutely comfortable to go near same lane with the flying robot because I feel like we have a better end uh, when it comes to the trades. I kinda hope that he um, doesn't have the best uh, way of countering our flying robot because I'm gonna just play T-Rex for now. There's no reason why I shouldn't play that. I'm gonna play Devils here, he's gonna actually play Bullets, so that's gonna be pretty, yeah, I would say pretty decent, but at the same time, I don't want to give him too much value of his Balloons Bomb, so I'm gonna just play like this, and unfortunately, he's gonna get a very good trade at the beginning, because I kinda didn't have the best hand to respond. And actually, he's gonna also clean my helicopter, I'm gonna prevent him from doing so, because I kinda want this helicopter to stay alive for quite longer, Force one card and there are devils. So right now we're gonna just set up for another flank robot. There's no reason why not to and we're gonna absolutely do it. He also will be a bit of mana behind so I'm gonna try to exploit it in some way. He's back to bullets, that's a very important thing and unfortunate though because I would love to play a devil horde behind that. I'm gonna right now play a balloon and try to get some value out of that. He's gonna play helicopter and this copter will absolutely stay locked onto, uh, onto the flying robot, which is perfect for us. He's gonna be playing bullets and that's the moment where we strike with the devil horde because it's gonna absolutely clean this flying robot and yeah, that's gonna be a beautiful trade for us. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. I'm gonna play a T-Rex here to counter his troops. I would love to at least believe that they're gonna be countered because yeah, if they were to take the tower anyway, I would just ignore these troops. Unfortunately, I didn't calculate that too far, so we're gonna just go for a flying robot and it looks like we're just very even on mana, so there's no reason to panic. Just now I'm gonna be playing a super devil and after that I think I'm gonna just be playing balloon. Because obviously Flying Robot and Balloon Combo is still very strong. I'm gonna be playing Devils here. I'm gonna play Copter here. He plays... Oh my... D don't look at my play. Please don't look at my play because it was horrendous. I was about to play a Devil Horde but I played it absolutely in his... Uh, into his uh, uh, Balloons Bomb which is bad. It, it, it's just bad. I'm gonna play right now skeleton keg. Unfortunately, I think I won't be able to protect my helicopter, which, yeah, like I said, will be unfortunate, but at the same time, kind of necessary. I'm gonna set up another flying robot. He's very... Okay, I'm gonna just play Devils and T-Rex here, because he's counterplaying me with everything he has, and if I hold this and just basically do not die, I think I'm gonna just win the game, because he doesn't have the resources to counter me right now. He also... wait. I'm pretty sure he wasted bullets, so I'm gonna just go in. He's gonna kill my copter, but it doesn't matter because right now the balloon is the threat and it's gonna absolutely lock on to the Viking Tower. Also Skeleton Keg for bonus points. Absolutely fabulous game right now. I think we can uh, right now wait for a bit, couple of minutes because, uh, well, I don't want to cyberbully this guy too much in this video, GG well played once again, and yeah, for, for you there's not gonna be any wait, because I'm gonna jump straight to the game number 4. 
and we are in another game of today's video, this time against El Ana. I don't know how to pronounce it, probably it has some kind of Spanish pronunciation because I believe it's a Spanish N with a squiggly again, uh, uh, above it, that's what I meant to say. And we're gonna be playing just flying robot first play because why not? We might as well just play that and have that surprise factor out of the way. We're gonna follow it up with balloon. Obviously, flying robot, thank you for the balloon, very classic combo and my opponent is just not respawning. Okay, I'm gonna just restart him and jump to the next game number 4 because it kinda doesn't count. And we are in another game number 4, this time against... Uh, I would love to believe that he wanted to type Master Baiter because he will certainly play a Steel Bait against me. So he's gonna be starting off with a Fawn Keck and Steel Hammer, very classic risk. Very classic um, opening. I'm gonna try to. Uh, I was about to say I was trying to get a Devil Horde uh, right now to get his Bomb Girl, but his Bomb Girl locked onto my uh, T Rex and not onto my uh, tower, which I kinda expected him uh, to be locked on. I'm gonna uh, play Devils to counter this Phone Keck. Nothing too complicated just yet, we're gonna be setting up a flying robot in the back because that's how you break the deck that is kinda defensive, you just test their defensive capabilities and I kinda hope that uh, he won't be able to defend that because the longer the game progresses and he's not gonna be in a like, I don't know, absolutely dead loss position, it's gonna just get better and better for him. So I'm gonna just play Copter here to snipe this. Bomb tower and then follow it up with balloon because why not to? We're we're gonna also be playing a skeleton keg just for a 100% all in uh, vibes. We're gonna be absolutely getting this tower because I don't think he'll gonna ever defend. Also, my Uh, what I was about to say, I kinda noticed that he's using a uh, blitz instead of the missile and I absolutely will abuse that to the limits of the world. I'm gonna also use this one devil that survived from the blitz apocalypse to finish this bomb girl. I'm gonna absolutely ignore this phone keg and go for a 3 star pretty much. Obviously flying robot here can mean that I'm going for a 2 star but uh, don't get fooled by that. I'm going for a 3 star, it was just a preparatory move. I'm, he's gonna also be playing a Skeleton Horde instead of... Uh, uh, instead of... wait, with a Fawn Horde. Oh, that's a very interesting Steel Bait deck to say the least. I'm gonna right now try to tank with a Skeleton Keg and spank with a Devils. Just to get this tower down and we get it and now we are just going for the Viking Tower and... That's gonna mark the end of the game. Fortunately, we win this one because Steel Bait is kinda difficult matchup. Even though you kinda can break through at all times, it's pretty scary for them because uh, by the time you break through, good Steel players uh, will take the two towers already. So yeah, that was very cool to see that we have managed to come out victorious. And with that being said, let's jump to the last game of the video. Very fun challenge, by the way. And last game will be marked by RT. Almost a thousand player right now. We're pretty late into the season, so I believe like many people will eventually uh, get their thousand mils. I don't know if he's waiting for me to make the first move. I'm gonna absolutely make this first move with a flying robot in the back. Also, you probably may have noticed that I uh, sometimes make the uh, flying robot in the back on the right, sometimes on the left, because there's pretty much no variety with my deck, so I might as well vary something uh, myself. I'm gonna play a Devil Heart on this, so this Dark Knight won't absolutely uh, kill my Viking Tower, and I'm gonna play a Balloon with a Flying Robot. So basically, that's how you want to be playing with this deck. You basically just base trade all you can. And if you can't, uh, it's gonna get pretty uh, dicey. So he's not gonna actually drop a single tower from this, which is very cool to see as a defender, but uh, I'm on the offensive side, also, so that's not gonna be good. He's... He pretty managed this very well, and I have to give props to him because it's not easy task to defend it this well. I'm gonna just play, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna play Devils right now. 
after he play a gunner so these devils will finish the tower if he ignores them and that's why he absolutely doesn't ignore them i'm gonna this is not gonna be a the tower so i'm gonna just uh, ignore this threat for now and i'm gonna just play a flying robot so uh, my objective is to get the second tower right now i believe okay he's gonna play can which is very interesting move if I may say so. We're gonna play helicopter because it's a pretty decent support for a flying robot and uh, yeah he's gonna play gunner which I don't think was the... okay it, it was absolutely correctly placed holy hell this gunner just got... It, it was one of the best gunners I've ever seen. I'm gonna play right now a devil horde so I don't lose to the single or dark knight. He's gonna actually be playing bullets so that's why he was that confident. Alright so I'm gonna just play some seagulls which are also uh, which are also devils in normal english he also be gonna be having a poison so uh, that, that's gonna be a very tough combo to beat also i'm gonna just play devil horde in the pocket there's no reason not to i'm gonna bait out the bullets at least and this uh, bomb should be able to uh, yeah take the tower down very cool to see and right now i have to pretty much stop the dark knight at all costs yeah he's gonna be just uh, going in and i don't think i can defend to be f completely frank yeah i'm not gonna be able to defend he's gonna even bm me at the end of the day yeah i, I think that was deserved that i got at least one l in this video i expected it way earlier also Congrats for RT for reaching 1000 medals because I'm gonna be losing 16 for this game. And yeah, that's gonna mark the end for today's video. Uh, if you want to see me play more challenges in the future, leave the comment down below and maybe I'll play them. We'll see. That was a fun one. I obviously don't uh, like to play these type of decks, so... If you suggest the challenge uh, that forces me to play the other decks that I usually uh, uh, am playing, it's gonna be definitely a fun video, especially, yeah, this one. Because I don't uh, like to play Lava uh, Robot robot as well. So yeah, that's gonna be it from me in today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel because I post the, the content every single day. Make sure to check out also my uh, YouTube shorts because I'm posting these ones also every single day. And yeah. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Marina.